Hi guys, this is Katja with Creators Image Studio. Today I'm sharing my latest album with you all. It's called Remember Me, this is it, and I'll take a little time to explain why I called it Remember Me. I was contacted by Nora, who is from Munich, Germany. Nora is only 33 years old, but the doctors have told her that her illness will possibly significantly shorten her lifespan, perhaps even sooner than she fears. Which is why she asked me to design and create an album for her, so she could start documenting the wonderful parts of her life, as a memory book to keep her going in spite of the difficult times she is going through. But even more importantly, Nora intends this album for her beloved, her life's partner Martin, whom she loves, in her own words, with a love that surpasses death. So her main goal for this album is to make sure he is not left feeling completely alone, but has at least some tangible memory of her after she has left this world, whenever that will come to pass. Nora also asked me to share a little bit about herself with you all. She was born and raised in Munich. She is a real Münchnerin, as the Germans would say. This city that she loves so much will also be her last residence, which, as she told me, doesn't occur very often anymore these days. On a personal note, I'd also like to add that in what little I've come to know about her through her emails and video conversations, I'm touched by her courage, her hope, her kindness, her steadfastness, her generosity of spirit and her deep love for her Martin. My prayers are with her and I hope you all's prayers are too. Nora picked out several paper collections for the book for me to work with and asked me to incorporate several personal sentiments and elements. For instance, she loves cats, basset hounds and old leather books. As for the book, Nora watched some of my earlier videos and picked a combination of several of my album designs, which I'll link for you in the description and at the end of this video. They were the Butterflies and Stars album, the Springtime Dreams album, and the Box Pocket album, which is this one. Now I took this Box Pocket album as a base and added in elements of the other album designs. For instance, this magnetized closure that you see here is different from the original Box Pocket designs closure. So let me walk you through this album. The main paper collection that I have used on Nora's request is Misty Mountains by Kazercraft, so that is what you see here. And uh, well, I also mixed in a lot of other papers, also at Nora's request. For instance, this starry paper here, and on the back is an Ella and Viv sheet from the Oxidation Collection. Well, I won't name every single sheet of paper that I used. If you really want to know which ones I used, check out the tutorial, guys. That is to say, the tutorial for the Box Pocket album, to which I will add a free bonus cutting guide for this one. And that will include all of the materials. So, a magnetized closure. And let's open that up. Now, what we see here on the inside is a pocket with a little chain that I created with some charms. And it contains a tag, but I will show you that at the end because it contains a sentiment which Nora meant for the end. That is to say, the end of this album. So let's start at the beginning then and open this up. Now, there are some differences with the box pocket album that uh, I originally designed. The original design has the box pocket here. This album has it in the back. So here we have some flaps of the Springtime Dreams album. So if you want to know how to create these, check out the tutorial for the Springtime Dreams album. Now we start off with a tag and this tag contains uh, one of the sentiments that Nora wanted me to incorporate. And uh, it says uh, in German, Es war einmal eine liebe Katze. So once upon a time there was a lovely cat and uh, it contains a room either for journaling or for some pictures and same goes for the back. And I just took an image that I found on the internet of a black cat because Nora likes black cats and I added it and printed it on my, uh, in, in my printer onto the design paper, so there's a tip for you. Now here are three swing tabs, so just swing them open and open the flap. Now here you see all kinds of different papers. These are not the Kazakraft Misty Mountain collection, mostly. 
So just enjoy uh, all of the colorful uh, uh, patterns that Nora herself chose. So here is a nice photo tag. So you can add a picture here and uh, do some journaling on the back or add another picture if you have a lot. And of course you can chuck many more pictures here. Now I stamped a sentiment here. This is a Misty Mountain sentiment by the Case of Craft Collection. And I also did some embossing. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a slight shimmer, this embossing powder, which gives a nice effect. And it says, be your own kind of beautiful. Now this is also a flap that you can open. And there you go. So there is a large, large spread with a beautiful butterfly paper here. Now I added some tags for fun and also to add some uh, room for journaling here. And this is a glitter paper, a case of craft glitter paper. And I embossed the letter N, which is of course Nora's own initial. And I used some Ranger uh, copper embossing powder uh, to get this effect. So you, and it was an experiment. I didn't know if you could emboss onto glitter paper, but it seems you can. And here is another tag. I added a uh, one of the die cuts that come with the collection, the Misty Mountain collection, and then I added some uh, glitter glue. That is a hashtag. And then I uh, die cut a little black cat. Okay, now we come to the first actual page. So here is a series of flaps. And I added a die cut tag here with a nice die cut uh, grip here in glitter paper. This is also a Creolis die. Now let's open it up. Again with the trees, photo flap again and again. So lots of room for pictures here. And of course this paper here is very suitable for writing as well. Now each of these pocket pages has a top uh, pocket. I left them all just cardstock on both sides, so these are actually huge photo mats. And then I just added a flower uh, as a grip, so uh, each of these pages has such a top pocket. Next page. Again with the beautiful colors, so these are the other collections that Nora picked for herself. Now this repeats on each page, so there's a large pocket here which contains a sort of a photo booklet, which consists simply of a piece of double-sided paper folded together so you can use it for a sort of a separate photo booklet or add some, uh, some journaling papers to it. And, uh, you know, just extra room for all kinds of niceness. And I added some photo mats. So here you can put a picture and then do some journaling. Not every paper was double-sided, as you can see. And here is a photo tag, so you can cut a photo to size here. And to help Nora do that, I cut a template for her. So I use prepositional tapes. She, she can just simply pull this white piece of paper off and uh, use it to trace around her picture. And then it will have the exact size it needs for this photo tag. Now here are lots of pockets, so I added several tags. Let's start with the one in the back, which is quite elaborate. So there you go. So a large tag. This is, a, again, a set of nested dies by Creolis. So I added a sort of a net, netted die cut here in colored paper in the background. There's a pocket here that I decorated with one of the Kesecraft stamps. I die cut love, this is a Tim Holtz word die, and I die cut two branches, also by Creolis, and I die cut that from this beautiful paper here. Now the border here uh, is a Martha Stewart border punch. This is a pocket, as I said, so the tag contains some tags. And here are some hearts. I die cut a flower set here. And here again, one of the Tim Holtz sentiment dies and it says cherish. I created a little photo template again, so I die cut, as you can see here perhaps, I die cut the little photo template so she can take it off, put it on her picture, trace around it, and her picture will perfectly fit this tag. If she wants to, she can also just pull it off and leave it as is. And the other tag I decorated with one of 
the sentiment uh, that Kaisercraft puts beneath their scrapbooking paper sheets. And this one says, you were given this life because you are strong enough to live it. And again, I die cut a little black cat here, especially for Nora. The other tag, lots going on as well, again with the cat, but this time I used a starry paper. Added some flowers for decoration, and these two are from the die cut collectible set from the Case Craft Collection. In the background, a doily that I die cut uh, from, the, from some pattern paper. And with another Crayelli's die set, I created a little envelope here from double sided Case Craft paper. And then I added a little tag here. Let's see if I can get that out. Yes. And this is one of the sentiments from that are just simply cut from the collection. So make it happen, it says. Just for fun. And then you can uh, tuck the envelope behind this uh, little die cut there. And then last but not least, this nested die set here. Now here in the background you see sort of a silvery pattern, which I first embossed and then added some silver waxy paint by, I think it was Inca Gold. And on top of that, I glued this rose, which is a Mariana Design die. Used it to cut, to die cut this rose, added some glitter here, and then added one of the sentiments that Nora sent me. Ich bitte dich, mir eine einzige rote Rose zu bringen. So, I'm asking you to please bring me one red rose. And I printed that on some design paper uh, of my own choosing, which is uh, one of the gorgeous collections. And on the back you can uh, do some journaling. Of course, on top, again, one of the large road mats with the flower. So again, the repeating pocket here with the photo booklet here, which was the double-sided paper. And again, a pocket here, in which I tucked a nice photo mat with, again, a photo template that she can use on both sides of this photo mat. And I used the uh, collectibles die cut sentiments that come with the collection. Well, here are some instructions for Nora. It tells her that this is a swing tab, so you swing it open. The sentiment here reads, believe in you. And this is filled with sentiments from the collection. I pieced them together so that they fit the measurements that I wanted them to fit. And then it opens up like this. And both of these flaps have corner pockets. And you may remember from the first part at the start of this video, that Nora likes old leather books. So I chose some purple ones from the internet and I printed them and fussy cut them out. And then I layered them on top of each other here. And this is a single one here. And then I created some tags, die cut them actually, again with the Crayolis dies from some double-sided uh, paper. And this sentiment reads, Nun musste mich meinen Schicksal überlassen, so soll es geschehen. So, now you have to leave me to my fate. This is how it should happen. And here I use one of the Kaisercraft die cuts again. It says right now, and she can write anything she likes and add a small picture here and again here as well. And of course, room for more pictures or one larger picture here. And of course, again, with a large photo mat here. Now this swing tab also is magnetic, so it will stay like this. So let me add the instructions again for her like that. Now here I added an extra flap to the pocket with the uh, photo mat here. So what you see here are lots of sentiments. This is a beautiful piece of paper by the case of craft and it's very coppery. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, So it's foil, copper foil, each and every sentiment. And uh, I thought I'd uh, use it like this so she can enjoy almost the entire 12 by 12 inch sheet, especially if you remove the photo wallet. As you can see, the words continue on. And this is the photo booklet again, beautiful paper. 
And let's look at the front of this flap because we skipped it. So I added some uh, nice brads here from my stash. And one holds a sort of a vintage purpley butterfly and the other says dream. And here again, another row of these old leather books that I found on the internet, printed myself, fussy cut around it and now used as a tuck spot. And I tucked a photo mat behind this beautiful, beautiful trim that I found somewhere, which is sort of perfectly purple and copper. I don't know, it just was meant to be, I guess, that I actually have this and look at how perfectly it matches this paper. Now this again is a photo mat, so she can tear this white piece off and replace it with a picture. And here are some instructions for her to use the template and she can use it on both sides. And of course I used another sentiment here, moments, and that is from the same paper as this one here. The last uh, page assembly. First we start with one of the sentiments that come with the collection. She believed she could, so she did. And this is a magnetized closure, actually. So there we go, two little doorlets. Again, with a beautiful trim, I just had to use it again. And then two photo mats that she can simply trace around and then glue on the back of these mats or use them as journaling spots, of course. And again, with one of the copper foiled sentiments from that paper. This is another Kesecraft glitter paper, love that color. And one of the flowers that holds the, uh, the large photo mat that goes into this page pocket. So we are at the last page. Now this glittery photo mat here, which you can use on both sides, it kept this flap closed. Here I stamped, you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And look at this beautiful paper. And I still had two books, so I glued them here. The purple books that I fussy cut. And then again with the pocket and the photo booklet here. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Perfect and beautiful, these roses. Love this paper. So close it up and then use the photo mat to keep it closed. Like that. Now we have arrived at the actual box pocket. So remember in the original design, this is at the front of the album, but now it's at the back. Now, Nora asked me to find a beautiful basset hound on the internet and fussy cut it and use a photo of her cat that she sent me. And what I did is actually print them both twice and then lifted them both. So they are 3D dimensional. And then I added here some of the collectibles die cuts from the Casey Craft Collections and I stamped It's the Little Things. And I did some double stamping here on purpose. So first sort of a coppery shadow and then slightly off, I used some dark purple, the same that I used here. Now this box pocket holds a mini photo folio. And this is actually the same design as the one that I used in my original box pocket album. However, you can use this box pocket, of course, for many things. I think you can might even tuck an entire notebook in here or a, a large a stack of pictures that you have or actually anything you want. So this one is not included in the tutorial because it has its own separate tutorial and comes in a set of three folio tutorials. So if you want this one, check out that one. And I'll link all of the tutorials, of course. Now here is another sentiment that Nora sent me and uh, I decided to not incorporate it in a tag this time but use it uh, as a cover of this photo folio. So I printed it onto the design paper and it says, Bleibe bei mir, ich werde dich nie mehr verlassen. So stay with me, I will never leave you. Now let's open it up and uh, well, use the beautiful glitter paper here again and did a little layout here with many of the collectibles die cuts that come with the collection and left some room for a picture here. 
and uh, I thought this matched pretty well with the starry paper so I matted that onto the pocket here and used the, the glitter paper as a background for one of Kesecraft's own paper sentiments. She turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plans and added one of Creali's die cut tags and uh, created my own tag topper here with a little journaling spot and of course again a photo template for Nora and another stamp here. This is not one of the Kesecraft stamps by the way, it's just a stamp from my stash. It says timeless, which I found particularly fitting. So next page, again a photo mat and let's show you the entire spread here. So this is one of Nora's uh, German sentiments again. Jetzt können wir in Frieden miteinander leben. Now we can live with each other in peace. And then I stamped, you got this. And of course the back, journaling spot or photo mat. A set of pockets here and I again added the row of books here that I fussy cut, printed myself in fussy cut and uh, turned it into a tuck spot. So I tucked a little teeny tiny tag here. This is actually a tag from the collection, so very cute. And uh, I added a butterfly here and again die cut a black cat, black purpley. And added another tag here and I did some embossing again. This time a rose with uh, again the glittery purpley embossing powder and she can use the back as a journaling spot. Again, another die cut tag, and I used the nested die that goes with it to create a photo template for her. Now look what I did here. I thought, well, if she loves her cats and her dogs, let's emboss this design paper with some pet paws. And then I uh, used some wax by uh, Prima Marketing, one of Finnebear's product lines, and I waxed on top of it and created sort of a bronzy, coppery paw pattern, which I thought was very cute, especially with the little cat here. And then last but not least, another die cut tag, a die by Creolis again. I love their uh, tag dies. And added a collectibles die cut, so special, and I left it open here so you can tuck a picture if you like. And then here I created a photo template. And this is one of Kesecraft's stamps, Live a Big Life. Now let's go to the left side here, or the right side actually, for me left, for you right. Uh, this is a magnetized closure, I decorated it with one of the collection's tags and added a little bow. Magnetized it so it will keep this pocket closed and uh, well decorated it with all kinds of uh, mostly collectibles die cuts from the Kesecraft collection plus the cat that I die cut myself and then here again a photo booklet from double-sided paper and decorated that as well with with the die cuts and uh, I die cut a journaling spot with a nested die set and uh, well the rest is pretty simple Nice to add some pictures or, especially this inside here, perfect to write. And look at this corner pocket, guys, with a decorated border here. There you go. And then here, last but not least, another tag. Lots of tags in this album. And again, I did some, uh, some embossing. I hope you can see that. A copper, again, by Tim Holtz. And it says... You can do it, never give up. So I thought that pretty fitting. And I uh, created a little corner pocket here by layering lots of uh, the collectibles die cuts from the collection. So I used those a lot in this project. And this is the back. So that is a pretty neatly fitting into this uh, box pocket. Now, as for the last sentiment that I promised to show you. There is an, an tag booklet that I created from double-sided paper. Printed some nice cats here, two lover, lover cats, I think. And, uh, well, I can't read that upside down. It says, Und wenn sie nicht gestorben sind, dann leben sie noch heute. Which is something like, and they lived happily ever after. 
and uh, Nora specifically asked me to make that the last sentiment of this album. So there you go. And the charms that I use here are my, uh, my handmade charm. This is a little butterfly that says created for you on the back. And then I added a little star. So there you go. So that was the album, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. And as I said, I will link you in the description and at the end of the video to uh, the other designs and also to my uh, tutorials that you can purchase at your leisure if uh, you are so inclined. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comment section and uh, I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay crafty. Bye bye.